Hello, dear viewers, and uh, welcome to a new episode of Business Insider. I am Mohammed Abdurrahim. In this episode, we'll be talking about uh, energy mix, the best way to mix between conventional and renewable energy, and the best cost scenario, uh, while keeping uh, uh, carbon uh, emissions at zero, uh, if possible. And when we say carbon emissions at zero, uh, not only uh, is it uh, you know, good for combating uh, global warming or climate change, but it is also the best cost scenario when you look at uh, the longer term uh, picture. So this is what we're going to be talking uh, about uh, tonight uh, here in this uh, episode. But first, as usual, let's take a look at our top uh, uh, economic stories for this past week. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi inaugurated on Monday, the 26th of December, two plants for the production of medical and industrial gas and a tri-generation plant in the chemical industries complex in Abu, Rawa, Abu Rawash in El Giza. Uh, the president asserted that the state is keen on bolstering the local production of various products and strategic commodities in order to reduce imports from abroad and ease demand on dollars. CC noted that the state has been seeking to produce some strategic industries such as chlorine and other medical gases to meet the local demand, adding that the coronavirus pandemic had forced the state to establish gases factories despite the fact that medical gases production was sufficient. He also noted that the inauguration of such factories would enable the state to cope up with all the developments in the medical sector that is likely to happen in the upcoming years. Sisi also added that the state would seek to provide the local needs from hydrogen, stressing that the state is very much keen on the stability of the agricultural sector. He touched upon a plan to inaugurate a nitrogen fertilizers complex in the upcoming stage, to be able to cope with the increased agricultural lots. The president added that it is important that ministries and authorities have their own saving vessels. The president also pointed out that prices of materials and ores have skyrocketed due to the waves of economic instability in the world. He noted that it is necessary to classify the materials which are imported according to their importance to the state. As Sisi noted that the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine war triggered particularly severe disruptions to supply chains. The president, meanwhile, said that it is necessary to depend on the local production of several products that are necessary to the state. CC said that any project can take between three to four years, adding that the state is keen on not importing certain products and materials in order to enhance local production and to reduce dollar demand. The president further said that six factories producing about 700,000 tons of nitrogen fertilizers will be opened in Ain Sukhna in February and March. He affirmed that the state is keen on stabilizing the prices of agricultural inputs uh, and added that during his inauguration of two factories for the medical and industrial gases in Giza's uh, Abu Rawash district and of course a, uh, a tri-generation plant that uh, if the prices of gas which is used in producing fertilizers increased so the prices of this product will in turn go up affirming that the state aims to keep price levels without increase. And the Ministry of International Cooperation along with the Transport Ministry have signed a 301 million US dollar deal with the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, on the second tranche of funding for the first phase of the fourth line of the Cairo Metro Line. The agreement was inked between International Cooperation Minister Raniel Mashot, Transport Minister Kamil El Wazir, Japan's ambassador to Egypt, Oka Hiroshi, Senior Representative JICA, uh, in uh, Egypt's office, Shino Mazau, and a host of Egyptian and Japanese uh, officials and businessmen. The deal is part of the state's development efforts to upgrade the transport sector and provide better means of transportation to accommodate population density in Greater Cairo. The first phase of the fourth line aims to link between the heart of Cairo and Giza, 
with 16 stations to put an end to traffic jams. Al Mashad praised the strong ties between Egypt and Japan and cooperation in the transport domain under the state's vision to develop infrastructure and expand in carrying out transport projects. For his part, uh, Mr. Hiroshi stressed that the implementation of the metro project represents a new phase of fruitful cooperation between Cairo and Tokyo through the use of the state-of-the-art Japanese technology for environment-friendly means of transport. The JICA representative said the project reflects ongoing cooperation between Egypt and Japan to support sustainable development efforts. And Higher Education and Scientific Research Minister Ayman Ashour said yesterday that Egypt came in 35th place in terms of public spending on research and development R&D among 86 countries worldwide. According to a report by the globaleconomy.com, Egypt ranked second among the Arab countries following the United Arab Emirates and first in Africa in terms of spending on research and development or R&D. The report said that Egypt's spending on R&D reached 0.96%, that's almost 1% 1, 1 of its GDP. Egypt's spending on R&D recorded uh, 59 billion Egyptian pounds in 2021, with an increase of 3 billion Egyptian pounds compared to 2020, the report revealed. Within the Arab context, Egypt was followed by Saudi Arabia, which came third, then Oman, which ranked fourth, and Kuwait, that took the fifth position. Time now for a short report and when we, a uh, short break, and when we come back, we'll be watching a report on the main topic uh, of uh, our uh, program here tonight, uh, the energy mix and the best cost scenario. And we'll be introducing you to our distinguished guests here in the studio. Please stay with us. Welcome back, dear viewers, and thank you for staying with us. With us now here in the studio is Engineer Mohammed Salim, member of the Arab Union for Sustainable Development and Environment. Thank you very much, uh, Engineer Salim. Great pleasure to have thank you. Thank you very much. You. Thank you. It's thank my you. pleasure to Allow be here. Allow us, Engineer Salim, dear viewers, to watch uh, first a report uh, about our main topic uh, for this episode, the energy mix and the best cost scenario, and then come back and start our discussion. Great. Experts emphasized on Egypt's great potential of renewable sources and how introducing hybrid sources of energy on the short and long terms is best to solve future energy crises and protect the environment in Egypt. The country's potential renewable sources of energy could cover three times the country's current needs. Egypt is blessed with 9 to 11 hours of sunshine per day and a high speed of wind that reaches 10 meters per second. The government has been working throughout the past years on different projects of renewable energy. It has also issued a number of legislations to increase the use of renewable energy sources. Experts believe that Egypt needs to invest in solar grids and biogas energy plants, not only due to the abundance of waste in different forms, but also to diversify the different sources of energy. With 100 million tons of organic waste produced in Egypt, there are so many opportunities to produce clean energy. Using renewable energy is not only about finding alternative sources to conventional energy like petroleum, but also about preserving the environment. Usually, hybrid energy is the best way to utilize these resources and save energy. Using multiple and hybrid renewable sources energy will definitely alleviate Egypt's recurring energy problems. Thank you very much, uh, Abir Hussain and Rasha Abdel Hamid, for this uh, report back here in the studio with Engineer Mohammed uh, Salim, uh, board member of the Arab Sustainable uh, Energy Council, the Arab Union for Sustainable Development and Environment. 
Uh, Engineer Salim, you listened to the report uh, with us. Uh, talk about diversification, the importance of diversification, and talk about the fact that it's not just about you know, the best economics, it's about preserving the environment. Uh, uh, we just, uh, in November, I mean, Egypt hosted the world in COP27. A lot of recommendations came out in this uh, uh, regard. Uh, uh, can you give us an update of, of uh, uh, how you see the picture now? Thank you very much for this opportunity. Really, as mentioned in the, in the report, uh, it, is, uh, it is not only uh, for uh, uh, economic issue, but also for uh, climate change preservation. Uh, one point I would like to say regarding to strategy analysis that we should have the internal and external environment scanning for uh, the, the what are the factors impact our uh, economy and impact the, the, the climate change uh, as, as a whole. Mm. Uh, uh, then Egypt has, uh, uh, if we make a SWOT analysis and make this uh, SWOT analysis tied with the opportunities and traits all over the world, that a clear answer that we should make the, this strategy, the diversification of our resources uh, based, on the, uh, based on the conventional and uh, uh, renewable Renew energy, and renewable energy. Uh, even uh, that we have really the COP27, that, uh, w which makes a great site uh, for Egypt all over the world, that, that's uh, uh, also uh, very uh, uh, um, uh, ambitious for all of us. Yeah, it should help us in, the, in, in our plans, right? Yes. Mm. One, one point, uh, I, I remember uh, since uh, uh, 2000, the year of 2000, there is a program in Ministry of Electricity regarding to the power pool. Mm. This program mentioned that which, comp uh, which uh, uh, unit of production, conventional power plant, should be operated in high efficient. So we recorded the, uh, uh, every unit in each power plant with the uh, specification, technical specification of this uh, unit. Was the optimum operation and uh, was the optimum efficiency of this unit at different loads? Then, uh, uh, if this uh, power plant uh, use more fuel than that should be, then uh, 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 the uh, 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 Egyptian electricity holding company will not pay much for that. So it is at, at that time we consider the efficiency only. But now we can see this. It is not only efficiency and technical efficiency, but also regarding to the uh, emissions. Uh, emissions of uh, uh, CO2 uh, and really uh, there is now a, a good market for uh, for uh, emission trading system ETS mm. and also the carbon tax mm. that uh, we, we mentioned and we are looking forward to apply and to take this in, in high potential in uh, not only in Egypt but all the Arab countries to use this uh, uh, trade some Arab countries have started uh... Uh, uh, for, uh, really it's uh, uh, we we uh, we can see that uh, all over the world most of world mentioned only uh, China and Europe mm. and Canada but even the states only uh, 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 United part, States yeah, a part of uh, part of uh, yeah. states and uh, Brazil also has uh, has also intention to do that mm. uh, South Africa only in 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 in, in Africa uh, mm. makes that mm. and we are going to do that really mm. uh, uh, this is the uh, carbon uh, trade mm. system mm. Uh, uh, I want to to the to uh, focus on yes, that, please. okay, uh, 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 you should, uh, or the, uh, any company, or even any factory, uh, for example, for steel factory or cement, or even whatever this, he should not use energy as he, ne he needs only. No, he should make a control for the emissions. Right. If he emission more than what he should, mm. then he should pay for that. Mm. Okay, and if he save more, um, uh, 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 saved saved means emissions less. Right. Okay. Right. Then he can collect and and create 
a certificate for this carbon mm. and also this is as a trade right but so, so th that's a sort of in an incentive in uh, to to you know keeping carbon emissions at uh, the lowest level possible it's considered as a, it is not as a in uh, incentives only but it's a trade mm. really it's a trade to save our planet mm. uh, really we have no time we have no time mm. to to uh, to operate our uh, system like inefficiently you, yeah. uh, uh, okay like, like the way it used to be in the yes past. Uh, as usual yeah. as usual scenario mention mm. that mm. so we should uh, exert extra effort for keeping our uh, 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 units operate in high efficiency uh, when I mean uh, unit, it is not only uh, the power plant, but also the, factories the, uh, the and factors, uh, whatever. Yeah. And add the renewable energy. Mm. That is zero emissions that. Mm. So you can that's operate. The mix, that's the mix. Uh, uh, that's the mix. That we mentioned, the energy mm. mix. And what's the best uh, uh, cost scenario of that? We should mention that. Okay. okay. Mm. So uh, for this to happen, it, it has to be a gradual process, right? Sure. So uh, how fast or how slow uh, should we be moving In to fact, do it right? Yes. In fact, uh, uh, there is uh, uh, learned lessons and uh, there is a uh, uh, handbook for that. Okay. But so far, uh, we have, uh, we should have here a committee in Egypt to do this job beside the hydrogen, because hydrogen will be also one uh, one source of this mix right. of energy mix right. so uh, this uh, 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 collation should be uh, prepared to make the system run mm. and run effectively and efficiently mm. okay so we, we, we um, one more point regarding to the demand side mm. in, in in electricity uh, section uh, we uh, or the ministry of electricity work hardly in the or uh, work uh, professionally in the uh, supply side okay but still in demand side still there is a lot of job should be done even the it's already started but still should be should be uh, more efficient uh, one more issue regarding to the uh, carbon trading system it is not only for power plants or electric sector only, but also can be used in petroleum and used in, in uh, transportation and even in uh, agriculture. Right. So all these systems should be collected together and should should made a strategy to uh, uh, for uh, 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 low cost scenario and and the, uh, also the uh, low carbon. Uh, uh, for keeping our uh, our uh, our climate change. Right. Uh, you, you mentioned uh, hydrogen, uh, um, Engineer Salim. Uh, the president uh, mentioned uh, on Monday that the state is seeking to provide the local needs from uh, hydrogen and said the state is very much keen on the stability of the agricultural sector. So could you uh, talk to us about the importance of uh, such a step? Uh, really, uh, uh, Egypt do uh, a great effort. It is not only for uh, certain infrastructure or no. It is really the strategy of the country uh, looks uh, uh, and take care of all sectors all over the, the country. And matched with the strategies of, of all the world for, for UNDB, for uh, the World Bank, for so uh, 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 once the strategy of the country or national determined uh, uh, scenario of uh, uh, of carbon uh, dioxide emissions control, this with the matched with the all over the strategy. Uh, regarding to the hydrogen yeah. uh, uh, and the uh, and the plant has been. Uh, inaugurated uh, last week i think yes, monday, at, uh, monday. Yeah. Uh, really it's uh, one ad advantage or competitive advantage to the country to egypt uh, that uh, this is can be prepared and can be also exported and can be used also in local market so really uh, 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 we have this good uh, one issue and uh, makes also the natural gas in different or petrochemicals 
in, in different use in local and uh, also for export. There was also a tri-generation plant that was inaugurated. What, could, could you explain to us what's a tri-generation plant? generation plant, plant really, I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, uh, there is a generation plant for hydrogen, Yeah. Uh, maybe for hydrogen, but I didn't uh, really go deeply in, the, in, the, in okay. that. Oh, okay. okay. Hmm. Now, uh, also, uh, Egypt has a lot of, um, um, you know, uh, of sunshine, uh, a lot of wind, uh, so, uh, how can we best exploit uh, these uh, gifts, uh, nature gifts? Thank you. This is the mix. Mm. This is the energy mix. Mm. What's the meaning of energy mix? Mm. Energy mix that you can uh, 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 mix diversity of the resources, even if it is conventional or renewable. But now, even uh, maybe since long time, uh, uh, there is a word that we said that the renewable energy will make a replacement for conventional. Maybe not 100 percent. For example, for Egypt, we have uh, 40, uh, the, 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 the percentage of Egypt uh, for share, it's around 42 percent by, uh, by 2035. Uh, mm. 42% for what? For conventional or renewable? No, a renewable. Renewable. A renewable share. Right. A renewable share. 40, it should be, it should reach 42% yeah, 42. by 2035. Yes. 42% uh, of generation. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, also, uh, this is the same in all, uh, most of Arab countries. And this will help that there is a certificate for carbon or emissions control. The, the, the trade you were... The, that's the trade we mentioned, yeah. okay? So uh, we want to start up this market with the same time that we are working in the same. For example, uh, in, for Bin Ban. Mm. For Bin Ban, there is uh, 1,460 uh, uh, megawatt of BV system. And also in the Zafarana and the other uh, wind farms mm. in Egypt. Mm. Uh, uh, are there any certificates for emissions? Uh, maybe, should be. Uh, I have some uh, information, but it is not formal, that maybe some certificate has been sold to, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, one country or something like that. But still not mentioned all over the country. For example, for small units, we make uh, uh, maybe the, uh, if it is a private sector or uh, uh, any citizen want to build a power plant or BV system uh, with uh, 50 kilowatt, okay? Then how much it's saving by a year, uh, then collecting such a small units, then make a certificates for a training of CO2, okay? okay? Uh, and the 42 percent uh, share of renewable energy by the 2035, is that an easily achievable goal uh, or w will it take more drastic or, or, or more swift measures uh, uh, to, to achieve in your view as an expert in, in this field? And can we do better than 42 uh, percent? Okay, if we can, uh, it is not easy, mm. not easy, mm. but it is cost much so one, one more issue that the, the private sector and investors working deeply in that, mm. okay? Mm. Resource, the, uh, the sun or the wind is there, but how you can use this uh, source to generate electricity? And one more point, how embed or, or integrate such resource with the grid and make the balance of operation and stability and secure of power supply. Mm. This is A not lot of easy. Issues. So, so not just the initial high cost, initially, but also issues of uh, there uh, is co different coordination. And, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Mm. And even... Uh, uh, but it's uh, achievable. It's achievable, almost achievable, yes. But not easy. Uh, and not easy. Mm. It is not easy. Mm. And uh, uh, for example, also... Uh, um, uh, but, but, but it's an, um, it's an ambitious goal. Yes, sure, sure. That sure. we have to work for. Yes. Mm. One more point I want to say that regarding to the globe, global uh, uh, share of the uh, solar energy around uh, 5 terawatt mm. till 2030. What's terawatt? Terawatt more than giga. 
That's 1,000 giga. 1,000 giga. 1, giga? giga, yes. Okay. 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 This is a huge amount, okay? But this 5 terawatt is not sufficient to keep the planet to, to, uh, for warm-up only 1.5 degrees centigrade. Right. And then UN said that we need to be 10 instead of 5. Around the, mm. there is a fraction mm. for that. Mm. Okay, right. uh, uh, double, double, almost double. Mm. So this is, uh, will cost much. Who mm. will pay? Mm. Okay, mm. and in the same time, people do something. Probably the richer will pay. <laughs> the richer countries, because they are the ones uh, that have more at, more at stake. <laughs> may, maybe you remember my word. There is a trade-off. Mm. Okay, there is a trade-off. But what's related to our planet? We should protect our planet. Our global, right. uh, the, the, this the warming up will will make a lot of trouble uh, 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 on uh, on the earth. So we should work on that. Economically, we should consider. Politically, we should consider, and also the resources and technical issues should be considered. As Bestel, we mentioned in, in the in the analysis uh, mentioned that Bestel for uh, political, for uh, environment, for social, for legal, for uh, mm -hmm. uh, all these issues should be considered mm. uh, to to be uh, to be analyzed mm. by experts to uh, uh, state the good strategy. Mm -hmm. And um, w w what should be the, the world's, uh, do we have a number by the year 20, uh, 2035 uh, on the renewable um, energy share uh, uh, globally of, yes. uh, of the production? Yes, around, uh, it, is, uh, uh, it is around, uh, uh, was the, it should be added around 10 tier mm. till 2030. Right. Okay. Uh, but we have all now uh, until until 2022 20, uh, mm. around one tera, and it should be ten, uh, and should be ten by 2030. Mm. Okay, but now we have around one tera mm. all over the uh, mm. the world. Mm. That's a long way to go. Yes, a long way to go. But the, really, the speed up or the growth rate is high. Mm. But still, there's an exponential factor. In sure, mm. sure, there is, mm. there is. But still, we have to control the the the, uh, the bad areas, mm. uh, like wars or or uh, or uh, uh, for firing in in forests and mm. cutting the trees. Mm. All these issues should be considered. Mm. It is not only just to build up. Uh, power plants and use the resources and like that but the uh, in other side your friend or your people another people makes cutting of trees and make wars and make something like that mm. so we should col uh, uh, collaborate together to reach and achieve the goals to protect our planet and as i mentioned there is no time it's uh, it's really uh, if it is not done now it will impact in, in, in seriously in, in back to our uh, planet. Mm. Uh, you know, I, I, I have a feeling that we'll keep talking about this for, for years and, and, and years to come. I mean, the goal is n not to see the, uh, temperatures uh, increase by more than one and a half percent. One and a half degrees centigrade. Degrees Celsius, ah, I mean, yes. one and a half, ah. sorry, 1.5 degrees Celsius. Yes. That's by the year, what, uh, uh, 2050? Until 2030. Until 2030. Yes. Warming of mm. the environment should not be higher than one and a half uh, 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 degrees uh, 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 Celsius. Uh, 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 in increase? In in increased, yes. From now yes. until yes. 2030. Yes. yes. But the way uh, the already agreed upon or signed uh, protocols and, and, and conventions do not allow f for this, right? I mean, we could exceed this. It should we be should do more. Should be more. Yeah. Should be we more. Should do more of yes. an effort globally. Yes. Yes. So, so what did uh, COP twenty seven give us in, in this regard? I mean, COP twenty seven gave very good results on the loss and damage issue. Sure. Uh, yeah. On the potential trade of the uh, the, car the carbon trade but w uh, on the, that specific point uh, the point uh, 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 loss and damage 
uh, fund. Mm. This is done uh, especially for the areas that will happen uh, or that affected or impacted due to the, this crisis. Mm. Mm. But still, regarding to build up the the, the uh, renewable energy power plants to reach the 10 tera mm. until 2030 is based on the investment and national uh, mm. determined uh, contribution mm. there is said that ndc every country every country has ndc that they will contribute by this certain for example egypt as mm. i mentioned uh, 42 uh, for example, uh, Jordan will uh, build 1.8 giga, Saudi Arabia around uh, 9.6 gigawatt, okay. Uh, Egypt again? How, how much? Uh, 42%, 42% oh. of, uh, of the generation. Mm. Uh, that's around, maybe it's um, until 20, uh, 2023, 20, uh, 20, there is around 10 giga total mm. total okay. of of uh, okay. of uh, renewable energy in egypt okay. and we have a, a lot of uh, uh, contracts have been done maybe uh, less than two weeks ago yeah. with the uh, amia and uh, yeah following uh, cop 27 right mm, yes mm. okay uh, morocco morocco makes good progress mm. regarding they uh, prepare to build uh, uh, around 11 gigawatt mm. Mm. One more point I want to really address. Oh, oh, also, I, I think that uh, experts uh, see us regarding to the uh, uh, CSP, Central uh, Solar Plants, or in, in thermal or in generation. This is dispatchable. D dispatchable power means that you can use it at any time. But regarding to the renewable energy, BV or wind, you cannot use it any time. It is once it generates, you can use. Mm. If it is not generate, you can't use. Mm. But CSB, you can use at any time. Mm. Similarly, a biogas, uh, you can use at any time. So the dispatchable power plants should be, uh, uh, should be in, in top priority. And we can use it. Um, maybe I, I wouldn't like to mention, but okay, the, the, uh, Mr. Uh, Nukrashi, he is uh, our friend in, in the same group, he mentioned really that we want to build uh, CSB, five power plants for 50 megawatt for each, and even Europe looks to connect or inter interconnection with Egypt. They ask for clean energy, not conventional energy. Uh, energy mm. they need a clean energy that's zero carbon mm. so this is also good opportunity with the analysis for the uh, strategy right. that we can cause and there is yeah, one connection now between uh, algeria and also uh, europe okay it is only 270 kilometers distance beautiful uh, because we only have two or three minutes left i wanted ah. to ask you this question really if you allow me in an ideal world, by year what, I mean year 2050, 2060, 2070, year what, should we use only this percentage of conventional energy and the rest should be renewable energy? I mean, conventional energy use obviously will go down uh, uh, and renewable energy will go up, but at year what should we have which mix that in an ideal world would be the best i can scenario. tell you it's, it's uh, i can tell you there is uh, switzerland i think uh, or in europe maybe reach it 100 percent of renewable uh -huh. okay wow. uh, so that's the ideal world uh, 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 no i want to tell you one answer technology in progress if a storage system succeed within the the, uh, the recent years then conventional power plants cannot be used anymore. Mm. At that time, we can use only renewable energy, but it's a dream. It's a dream. And all the world look for that. And there is a, a different technologies that used with zero emissions, like uh, nuclear power plants, mm. but maybe for safety, uh, they, uh, they minimize it. 
but for peace it's also uh, so can in be. an ideal world it would be zero percent emissions naturally yes uh, and we have to we have to reach this point we have to reach uh, yes we have to, to reach this point to make this balance of, 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 ah. of our planet okay. yes okay so we trade this system and pay for the people who save emissions. We hope to reach it one day indeed. <laughs> yes, uh, I Thank hope you so. very much, Engineer Mohammed. Thank Sabine, you very much. Board member of the Arab Sustainable Energy Council, the Arab Union for Sustainable Development and Environment. Thank Pleasure you. having you with thank us. You. Thank you, sir. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you, dear viewers, for watching Business Insider next week. Uh, same time, a new episode. Until then, have all the best. Goodbye.